Tara got a Captain America Christmas sweater. Oops. It has little Christmas trees and little stars, and it has little shields around the bottom. And then there's the back. It has an Avengers logo. It's like totally sweet. So, uh, so you like you, you like Captain America then? Yeah. Is what, I'm, what I'm getting from this. Because he's the best criminal. Shut up. <laughs> Your presents can all go back. <laughs> and then I also got this. Do you know there are people that think I don't know that song? Like, six people sent me that song. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, you're so sweet. I, I have four things in this house that play that song. I even, this hat says naughty on the other side, and that's usually the way I wear it, but I feel like Cap would need the nice side. Not, not really. Shut up. <laughs> Anyway, I think this guy's like a war criminal now, so. <laughs> All right. Are you still glaring? <laughs> you guys can do this bit on your own. I can just go. I can just take my hippo and go. <laughs> now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's let's get the intro rolling. Each week, Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring it back here for a little segment we like to call, What the Fuck is Wrong With You? And Tara, guess what? You missed it earlier. Um, our, our little feature this holiday, it got a little more official. I, I am I am so, I'm blown away by this. This is cool. Really? Yeah. Wait, wait for the intro to go. Go away, intro. Okay. Um, we, we gotta check this out. It's time for Gold Watch. Gold Watch. Dun 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 dun. dun, dun. Gold Watch. Yes, as you've have you been known as you've been known fucking words. Why no word not good? Why bad words? As you may have been aware, since we started this December, we've been looking in on the Yavla Goat. The, you have a logo. The Yavla Blocken from, uh, by the way, this is from Toon Comics. They, they, she, they, they, he or she, I'm not sure who it is, made it for us. Very cool. Um, we've been checking in with the, with the goat. Uh, just a quick catch up for you first people. People watching for the first time. My brain is melty tonight. For you just watching for the first time, um, the Yavla Goat is a goat in Sweden, a giant straw goat. It is a holiday tradition there. And every year, people try to burn it down. It has burned down more times than it has actually made it through to the new year. So, which begs the question, which one is really the holiday tradition? Building the goat or burning the goat? Right. It's like a chicken or egg thing now. <laughs> really, because out of 51 times, it has been... It has only made it through the through to New Year's Day 15 out of 51 times. But this year, it has made it to Christmas. Yay! Well, in 15 minutes. It'll, well, no, actually, it's already Christmas over there. So it has made it to... There it is, live footage of the Yavla Blöken, which is what, that's what it's called, the Yavla Blöken. Good job, Yavla Blöken. It's, it's actually made it through... To Christmas Day. Now, it remains to be seen if it will survive to New Year's. So, it's one more week. But, yeah, the, the, part of and part of what's made this so much harder is having the constant live stream. Plus, there are also guards and dogs. They have put that, that dogs... Is, like, better guarded than Beyonce at the moment. <laughs> it's under 24-hour surveillance. It has its own security team 
It's got attack dogs for a big ass straw goat. And also Thor. I I don't think Thor is actually on the payroll. I mean, you can't. He's hiding. He has Heimdall watching it. Well, let's get into the full on holiday spirit. Uh, this one comes from Green Bay, Wisconsin. And this is, you know what? I'm kind of not surprised. This is Green Bay. Police, naked man tears down neighbor's holiday decorations. <laughs> Investigators say a 61-year-old Wisconsin man was arrested for tearing down a neighbor's Christmas decorations while drunk and naked. <laughs> The Green Bay Gazette reports that Gregory Brannigan faces misdemeanor charges of disorderly conduct and resisting an officer. Criminal complaint shows Brannigan's neighbor called police Wednesday at, uh, to report that he was naked, kicking her door, and tearing down her decorations. Neighbor told police Brannigan appeared intoxicated. Officers say the Green Bay man was stumbling and told officers he needed to take care of supposed drug dealers in a neighbor's apartment. Investigators say breath test limited, uh, estimated his alcohol level at 0.21, more than twice the legal limit for driving. Did he think the inflatable Rudolph was a drug dealer? Did he think that, like, the inflatable snow globe with the snow in it, did he think that was all cocaine? Cocaine! All right, I have... I can't believe how many times I've had to say this on the show. I have done some very Something stupid things. What? I have something stuck to my lip. It's pissing me off. Sorry. Probably cat hair. Something I've had to say many times in the show that I wish I didn't. I've done many stupid things while drunk. I've never attempted vigilante justice on, on alleged drug dealers. No. While drunk. That's never seemed like a good idea to me. And missed those drug dealers so hard, you tore down Christmas. Yeah, it's just... Fuck your Christmas, like crystal meth, something, I don't know. Um, and it's pretty fucking cold in Wisconsin right now, isn't it? Haven't you ever heard of polar bears? Yeah, they swim. <laughs> they don't get naked and destroy property. And 61... Dan did a polar bear swim once. 61 years old. Didn't involve any destruction of property. S 61 years old. That is way too old to be drunk and naked. I mean, you can be drunk and you can I be I mean, look, I'm not going to judge you. Live your fucking life. Yeah. Be drunk and naked all you want. Just don't share. Just stay home. Yeah. I mean, what you do behind closed doors with consenting adults, that's all you. But uh, when you go out and spread the gift... You want to do a fifth and helicopter dick all around your place? When, you go crazy. When you give the gift of scrotum, that's that's not something people can't return that. There's no receipt. Oh, but if only we could. <laughs> 60 fucking... He, well, okay, that's true. Got Game says he's a bit too young not to care anymore. Yeah. That is definitely at the don't give like, a fuck age. you're not even Medicare age. Yeah. You're too young not to care. Used to be. Then we fucked it. Uh, more holiday heartwarming. Oh, wait, no, this isn't heartwarming. This is terrible. Um, so this is something that's been going on. I, I, I read every year about this event where, uh, police will help disadvantaged children, which always, I've never exactly understood what makes children disadvantaged. Is it like economics? Is it, do, do, do they tie like weights to their legs like, or i think it's usually like economic slash demographic okay so the cops go and they take the kids to like target or something and they go shopping with them for gifts a lot of cops on that special night fill up the target so it's a very bad night to try crime yeah it's not the day you shoplift Women charged in ill-timed theft at car Target store filled with cops. Oh, no. 
Two women were allegedly caught stealing $1,900 worth of electronics from a Target in Michigan the same day the store was packed with police for a shop with a cop event. About 15 police officers were at the Target on Wednesday, helping 22 disadvantaged children pick out Christmas presents for their families. Uh, Kiana Wilson and Dana Johnson uh, were also there. Brown said store security officers watched on cameras as the women loaded a cart with two Apple Watches, two ad pods, a Nintendo, two iPads. Sorry, not iPods. iPods are over. Nintendo gaming system. <laughs> I, yeah, I, you know what? They did that on purpose. They could have called it a, <laughs> they could have called it a, a Nintendo Switch. And we yeah. all would have, but no, they, they parsed out the, the line enough so you could actually, the yeah. scansion. Yeah. Um, at about seven 30, they walked past the registers without paying, which is like, you think you're so slick. They see you do that. Like, even if the store is not crawling with cops, do you think they don't have security tags on the fucking Apple Watches? Whoop, 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 they do? Yeah, you can't. They, they, they've they sort of made it so you can't just walk out. Uh, yeah. Loss prevention officers actually apprehended them. Then they asked for police assistance. The police officers were only about 20 feet away when they tried to walk out of the store. And they're in uniform. Keep that in mind. Right. They, they go to, this isn't like a plainclothes thing. They take the, it's a publicity event for the cops. So they, they go out there in fucking uniform. So the goal on you to be walking around the store and there are literally cops everywhere. And, and what have you, let's, should we call this off? No, we got no. this. We got this. Not coming back here. The lines will be crazy. We're not paying. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll never find parking. <laughs> Mike says the goat has lost a leg. I think that was the smaller goat. There's two goats, Mike. There are two goats. And one burned last week and lost a leg. Right. That that is that is the lesser goat. There's a lesser and greater goat. Yes. Anyway. Um just that how the you can't You can't just walk out the door. They will find you. They were actually the cops were literally crawling all over the place. That's, I mean, that's bold. That's bold. Points for boldness. That's not a plan. You didn't have it. You need a plan. But again, like, they have security tags on the electronics. Yeah. Actually, in most of the targets I've been in, they're like, literally, you can't pick them up. They have to go get it for you. Mm. Or it's tied down with one of those big metal rope things. Uh, Merry Christmas. Well, one of the horrible things about the holiday season is trying to travel. Um, and no, we're not going to talk about uh, what happened in the UK because that's been covered. Or That's a big ass issue. Uh, if you are your fucking drones in your fucking yards, people, if you're a little behind on this and you should probably go, there's been extensive coverage. Uh, two assholes decided they were going to shut down an airport by flying drones into the path of airplanes. And they managed to pull this off for over 48 hours to shut yep. an airport down. So that's already fucking horrific. But there are other more stupid reasons that an airport gets shut down. For example, musical instrument sparks police lockdown at Canada, at Canada Airport after it's mistaken for a rifle. What kind of musical instrument looks like a rifle? Musical instrument has been blamed for the complete shutdown of Calgary International Airport and panic travelers were evacuated after officials believed a gunman may have been on the loose. But after a thorough search, officers confirmed there was no active shooter and said the suspected rifle was believed to be a musical instrument. The police operation was stood down. Following our investigation, it was believed to be a musical instrument. They don't tell you what kind? No, they, 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 don't, they don't even know. It was not immediately clear which musical instrument caused the chaos. 
That's some embarrassed police officers. Yeah. When they won't even say what kind of instrument it is. Because it was actually like... Oh. Frank, it was a tuba. <laughs> <laughs> that's a gun! Everybody shut everything down! Frank, that's a clarinet! <laughs> it's a fucking care clarinet, Frank! It's triangle. <laughs> Although I do remember one, one time uh, uh, an artist I follow, uh, Richard Schindel, when he was playing live. I have an anecdote this week. How about that? When he was playing a show. This is he was playing a show in Savannah and he talked about when he was going to the airport. He brought his instruments and. He said, uh, yeah, he had his mandolin, had his guitar, but there's one instrument you don't talk about by name in an airport, and he found out the hard way. The bazooki. <laughs> yeah. That's an, I, I'm not familiar with that instrument. It's a stringed, it's a weird stringed instrument, but it's, it's a bazooki. You, you don't talk about the bazooki in the airport. Because he kind of got pulled aside and said, sir, yeah. he has. They don't. They, they just think you're violent and from Minnesota. <laughs> <laughs> I got my bazooki, don't you know? So, <laughs> um, yeah, actually, Smap to Claus is putting it out. the The weapon is actually the bazooka is named after the bazooki. Oh. So, yeah, I, I just, I love the cops. that it, They had to conduct an investigation to figure out this was not a gun. What? I mean, they can't fuck around with that shit in the airport. I'm just, I'm imagining them, like, like in the intro to 2001 with the apes and the monolith. And they've got the, they've got the instrument. Like, They're banging like, it on stuff. Yeah, it's like, what the, f come on, an investigation? What the hell is that? We were watching The Dark Knight Rises the other day because literally nothing was on television. Yeah. And watching that movie with someone who used to be trained to work with nukes <laughs> is very educational because apparently that bomb should have gone off like 30 times. Yep. In the last 20 minutes of the yep. movie. You can't just bang that shit on like, a wall. You can't just drag that shit through a city if it's that unstable. <laughs> And also, oh, he took it out in the ocean. We're all fine now. No, right. you're not. Everything's fine now. You all have he just, cancer. He took it a mile offshore. It has a six mile blast radius, but he took that motherfucker a mile offshore. You and all he have came outside of the plane, so he was obviously fine. You all have cancer. Your children yeah. have your grand. The children not even born have cancer. The trees have cancer now. Everything has cancer. Your refrigerator has cancer. Yeah. And he bailed out of the plane and was okay. Yep, it was fine. Bruce Wayne is Deadpool now. Yep. He's made of cancer. All right, let's move on. Hey, it's from my neck of the woods. What the fuck? God damn it. You know, I noticed my town keeps showing up on this show more and more often. I wonder if it's like showing off for me or something. <laughs> They're going to throw you a parade. It's going to be all naked people. Charleston Police, Church's Chicken employees set fire in restaurant office. Employee at a Church's Chicken on Sam Rittenberg Boulevard was arrested for setting a small fire in the office of the restaurant. Uh, Shatoria Robinson, 21, of West Ashley, was charged with arson. While investigating the fire, the manager of the business was able to show the security video that shows the employee walking in the back corner of the office carrying a green purse. After she walks away... A small fire is seen where she was standing and no other person had been in the area. Okay, that's that's incriminating enough. Yeah. But it gets better. She then comes back on camera and is seen adding paper towels to the fire. Robinson was still at the restaurant when authorities viewed the footage. You set the building on fire and then you stayed there? It's like, okay, no, it's okay. I'll just tell him I didn't do You're it. You're the only one who knows the building's on fire. <laughs> You're the first one out before the rush. And people, yes, we have we have the uh, the Harold and Kumar. Let's burn this fuck motherfucker down, Pookie. Let's burn it down, Pookie. Come on, Pookie. Oh, she also stole a customer's credit card number. Yeah, that's the other thing. Uh, 
An additional police report identifies Robinson as a suspect in credit card fraud of a drive through customer. According to the police report, the customer stated Robinson was working on November 14th and took her debit card to the back of the restaurant while she was waiting for her order. Over the next several days, there were fraudulent charges at Domino's Pizza, a nail salon, and an online clothing store totaling $186. That's aiming low, wouldn't yeah. you say? So, right, not only has she committed credit card fraud, to cover her tracks, she tries to burn down the store she works in. Which is not going to cover your tracks, by the way. Not. It is on the internet. That's not how computers work. It's not there. It's all someplace. Uh, this when is. I worked, when I worked at Old Navy, there was a kid. He and his girlfriend were running a credit card scam. That he got walked out of the store in handcuffs. His girlfriend was a nurse at the hospital, and when patients got put under for surgery, she went through their fucking wallets. He was writing down customers' credit card numbers when he ran them through the register. This fucking kid. Loki's calling bullshit. Yeah. Use the stolen credit cards. It happened. I was there. To shop at the Old Navy where he worked. <laughs> And applied his employee discount. To spend someone else's money. It's not your money. And you have to put in your employee number to use your employee discount. So they knew exactly who made all those purchases. He's probably still in jail. It's, it's fireworks. I don't Why know. are there fireworks on Christmas? There are fireworks here, too. It's freaking Simba the fuck out. Christmas is not the fireworks time. Yeah, I don't know why they're doing fireworks for Christmas. Poor Simba's freaking the fuck out. And then we're watching, like, the Lord of the Rings movies and Gandalf whistles for shadow facts. And he's like... This, uh, look, and then the Nas ghoul shows up. Simba's having a hard night, is what I'm saying. Look, I know we are at the end of days, but it's not an excuse to set off fireworks at every single opportunity. Yeah, I don't understand Christmas fireworks. Like, who the fuck wants to be outside to see them? It's cold. Well, it's not cold here. It's just wet and miserable. They're, they're shooting at Santa Claus. It's cold and wet here. Oh, but wait! There's even more fire! And I gotta Yay, say... Fire. This is one of this is a great headline. This is this is one of those you don't forget. This is from Chandler, Arizona. Oh Loki. We give him a second. Loki is okay. He can't hear me, can he? No. no. Even if he could, he wouldn't he wouldn't believe you. <laughs> Should we sing him a Christmas carol and make him feel better? Silent dog. <laughs> And Sarah is out there, bless her, bless her heart. Sarah's out there right now trying to chase him down and calm the poor dog. Pull dog. <laughs> like, Loki, no, it's okay. Fireworks will be over soon. Poor pup. Probably isn't that soothing. I can't really sing. Uh, anyway. So this, this is one of the, this is a headline you won't soon forget. I don't believe... Chandler, Arizona. Man arrested for stealing chainsaws ends up lighting his hospital bed on fire. Okay. A chainsaw crime spree didn't end so well for 21-year-old in Chandler. Poor dog. I'm going to have to edit so much this week. I'll leave it in. Uh, Internet loves animals. <laughs> anyway. Loki. Loki. Baby, it's okay. They're just setting them off like crazy right now. Anyway. Oh, no. A big one went off. Oh. 
Big bada boom. Live internet, everybody. Bada boom. <laughs> A chainsaw crime spree. <laughs> I don't think it's the fireworks. I think it's you. A chainsaw crime spree didn't end so well for a 21-year-old in Chandler. Trolled by the dog. <laughs> He's not making a peep uh, now, I notice. <laughs> He's like, wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> wait till the man human starts talking. And then bork. <laughs> a chainsaw crime spree. God damn it. <laughs> in the world too. it's like a squeak bark he's so shrill yes <laughs> like it's not intimidating at all no he's not Dottie tries to tell off Simba and she really thinks she's given it to him and she's going and I'm like baby you're scaring nobody the only reason Simba's scared is because he's a coward like you're making chipmunk sounds at him <laughs> <sighs> Sarah's trying to take him outside. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, that's gonna help. That'll make everything. Let's better. go closer to the noise. Ah. <laughs> uh, All right. Let's try it again. Taking fifty. <laughs> a chainsaw crime spree didn't end so well for a twenty-one-year-old in Chandler, according to officials. Justin Carrillo had been stealing chainsaws from Lowe's and Home Depots for weeks. When police finally arrested him, he jumped into traffic, got hit by a car, ended up in the hospital, then lit his hospital bed on fire. So he's living the extreme life. Yeah. Does he have, like, a chainsaw juggling troop? Carrillo made his first appearance Monday. According to officials, uh, retail theft investigators from Lowe's reported a man had stolen chainsaws from several stores around Maricopa County. Gilbert police linked the suspect vehicle to Carrillo's girlfriend and started tracking him. They caught up with him last week when he tried to sell the stolen, the stolen tools on OfferUp and arrested him. But this is where it gets bizarre. Not the fact that the dude is going around collecting chainsaws from hardware stores. Not anything stores. else. Not any other power tools no. to sell. Just, just chainsaws. I mean, fuck, do you know how much, it, how expensive a Dremel is? You can get like a handful of those fucking things for... Yeah. <clears throat> but this is where it gets bizarre. While in handcuffs, officers say Carrillo ran into traffic to try and escape and got hit by a car. He was taken to a hospital in Chandler... The document said Carrillo used a metal earring and electrical medical equipment to light his hospital bed on fire. Staff had to put out the frames. He's now facing multiple charges, including arson and theft. Investigation. He stole chainsaws from at least eight stores all over the valley, totaling nearly $7,000. And the fire he allegedly caused in the hospital cost $12,000. This is... You gotta learn to stop when you're ahead. You gotta learn to stop when you're behind. You got arrested and then you got yourself hit by a goddamn car. You have lost. <laughs> it's time to fold. Well, I don't know if you consider that entirely lo losing because yes, you've been hit by a car. Yes, you're going to the hospital, but you're not going to jail just yet. So at least for a you're couple probably days. chained to the bed though. True, but you know, you do have your own room. For a few more extra days, <laughs> trying to, I'm trying to half, I'm trying to glass half full here, Tara. 
I'm trying to glass half. But even then, okay. even then, you where you have got a stay from jail, you decide, you know what? I can bust out of here with fire. Which I don't know what his plan there was. Right. Because... I mean, presumably they would have tried to evacuate him, and I guess he would have run for it? Maybe. In confusion? Wasn't going to work. Yeah, I know, because if he tried to run for it, well, then he's wearing one of those hospital gowns. Yeah. So there's his ass. Yeah. That's that's not conspicuous at all. And that would have been another charge. That would have been public indecency. So that's even... Just, you gotta stop at some and, point. And, you know, the arson. Yeah, and the arson, yeah. It's In a just, building with a lot of explosive shit. These are just, like, so many charges racked up. What, fuck explosive This is what shit. we call compounding the error. The, the oxygen tanks freak me out. It freaks me out even worse. My father, um, yeah. up until the day he died, and I tried to stop him. I fought him on this. I had to, to search the house. Smoked on oxygen. Yeah, that's not safe. Oh, God, I had to live here while he was doing it. Oh, it would drive me crazy. Fucking the oxygen to fire. Boop. Fire does not go into the fucking hospital. No. Well, if you think that was the craziest thing we could come up with this week, let me start off by asking this. Dan, are you aware of a band named Cannibal Corpse? Oh, yes. yes. Were you aware of them before this week? Yes. Well, you won't... Yeah, I don't know what you're about to say either, but... They're oh, you people. don't! It probably isn't going to surprise me, but... <laughs> <laughs> okay, bet me. Fucking bet me! <laughs> 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 Fucking bet me this isn't going to surprise you. Oh, boy. Tampa death metal rocker had flamethrowers warned of rapture, officials say. Okay. Hours All right, I am surprised. Hours <laughs> before his Northdale rental went up in flames, investigators say, investigators say Patrick O'Brien, lead guitarist for the death metal band Cannibal Corpse, called relatives warning about the rapture and that aliens have landed. So just to start off, you are crossing your streams. Yeah. yeah. Those are two entirely different, you know, series. Unless we're going with the late season <clears throat> X-Files bullshit where <laughs> aliens wrote all of the religious texts on planet Earth. Yeah. The next day after the fire subsided, fire marshals found a large cache of weapons, locked safes, and potential explosive devices inside the home of the 53-year-old O'Brien. They rented in Northwood Drive. The stash included 50 shotguns, including one with a barrel illegally shot off, sawed off to about an inch past the stock, 10 semi-automatic rifles, including a couple of AK-47 variants, two Uzi-style rifles, and 20 handguns. Authorities even found two flamethrowers, according to the warrant, one inside the house and one out of it. Warrant and a partridge, but he was dead. <laughs> Clearly, those were for the aliens. If you saw off a shotgun, that, like, <clears throat> is there even, is that, are you even aiming? If you saw the barrel down to one inch past the stock, like, isn't that just a bomb? No, the point is, is killing everyone in front of you. War and, uh, so. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, there's, there's no direction then the warrant reveals the backdrop to the chaos of that december 10th night when the hillsborough county sheriff's offices say o'brien broke into a neighbor's house and then charged a deputy with a knife before he was repeatedly stunned with a taser and then arrested then his home caught fire and firefighters had to retreat as the ammunition inside started to explode that is the thing that will happen so they ran in to put the fire out and then the fire started shooting and then popcorn. If by popcorn you mean uh, 30 out buckshot, yes. That's not very, doesn't go very good with butter and salt, but it sure. It probably sounded like popcorn. It though. could, yes. 
how many, how, okay, he entered a home uh, in the 4700 block of Windflower Circle. O'Brien didn't know anyone at the home and didn't have permission to be there. But when the two residents inside the home asked him to leave, he ignored them and shouted that the rapture is coming. Don't do not do drugs, kids. This is, yeah. <laughs> the, you know, maybe you should have tried the rock and roll and the sex part of the sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Just in moderation. That's the holy trinity. But you can't just lean on one leg of the stool or the whole thing falls over. Well, like, what part of the rapture... <clears throat> involves breaking into your neighbor's house and yelling at them. I don't know. Also, I would... I Catholics aren't big on the rapture, but from what I know, by the time the rapture happens, you're either in or you're out. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It, like, there's no getting on the bus the day of the rapture. If you don't have a ticket, you don't have a fucking ticket. Who so was... warning people that the rapture is coming does fuck all for them. Was he gonna shoot at the angels? Yeah, because they're really aliens. Wait, wasn't that Babylon Five? Yeah, yeah, that, <laughs> yes. yeah. That that is Babylon. Yeah, a really well big done. Babylon Five fan. Yeah. The or Voron. he got it mixed up on the whole British was coming thing, and he's <laughs> the aliens are coming. The aliens are coming. I just so yeah. I, you know what? I have not actually listened to, I, to much Cannibal Corpse. I think one or two songs over time, but yeah. He has some on his Pandora, so I know I've heard a few songs. <laughs> They're like Cookie Monster metal, right? Yeah, they are. Yeah. Yeah. Cookie Monster metal. Yeah. Oh. Uh, so uh, I, I guess the the first thing we learned this week, kids, is um that that you gotta balance out the drugs with other things in your life. Wow, their band was just supposed to start a tour opening for Slayer. Yeah, that's pretty big. That's pretty big. I don't think he's going to make it, guys. I don't think he's going on the tour. Nope. I don't, I don't think he's going on the tour. No, I think they're going to have to find someone to fill in. <laughs> oh, my God. Just keep, keep your mythology straight. Decide how the world is going to end and commit. We've learned that when you've already been arrested for stealing 1,800 or oh, what, 7,000 in chainsaws, stop. Yeah. Because any decision you Maybe make. Maybe branch out to other power tools. <laughs> you have to realize after you've yeah. stolen that many chainsaws, any decision you make afterwards is not going to be a good choice. You're clearly not someone who makes good choices. No. <clears throat> We've learned if you set uh, your own place of employment on fire in order, to, in order to cover up a crime, it's not a good idea to hang around. Yeah, you should leave. It's, they, when, when someone sets a fire, it's not one of those things that are sort of like, oh, that's fine. Everyone back to work. Go. Do not give two weeks notice. No, you should go. You should, you should, you should be go going. directly to jail. We've learned yeah. that police in Canada have to open an investigation to determine if something is or is not a gun. Like, do you guys have music in Canada? I feel like you do because a lot of musical <laughs> acts have come from Canada, but one of them was Justin Bieber, so I'm not sure. <laughs> Maybe Justin Bieber was a gun. <laughs> Like, you gave us the Bare Naked Ladies, but then there was Nickelback. You gave us Alanis Morissette, but then there's Bieber. And, of course, Ryan Adams. Ryan Adams. I mean, oh, Brian yeah. Adams, yeah. Everything I do, I do it for, oh, God, shut up. <laughs> We've learned if you walk into the store and it's wall-to-wall -wall cops, find another store to burgle. Yeah, maybe do your shoplifting elsewhere that Just, day. Just, you know what? I'm pretty goddamn sure there was another Target somewhere in the area. Oh, Celine Dion from Canada. That's a good one. You know, I go back and forth on Celine Dion. On the one hand, she does, like, the fucking Titanic song, and then on the other, she does that Deadpool shit, and it was fucking awesome. But she's awesome. got some pipes, man. She's got the pipes. She's done. And she is aware of the phenomenon that she is. 
And she's like in on the joke, I feel like. And finally, we've learned don't give the gift of scrotum because it cannot be exchanged. <clears throat> the only thing you can turn that in for is incarceration. And let's be honest, like, do you guys even want a scrotum? You know what? No. If I had any other design option. Yeah. Right. Like, you know. If we're being honest. They all look like leftover elbow skin. Right. Like, y'all don't even want a scrotum. No! So why would anybody else? I know, right? I'm pretty cool with not having a scrotum. So you don't need to loan me yours. I'm good. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's one of those, you know what? Why do we have this damn thing? It's a design flaw. Yes! Because all the nerve endings are there and it's just... It's evidence God has a sense of humor and maybe high. Yeah. Well, that's why the guy was trying to stockpile weapons to shoot at him. Because of scrotums. <laughs> we brought it all the way around.